Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a giant Craigslist American Girl doll haul. It was my first time ever buying something from Craigslist. I got quite a lot of stuff. I'm really excited to show you everything, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the things. So, the big thing that I got is the Dreamy Daybed from American Girl, and I actually have been wanting it for a while. So today I was looking on Craigslist at American Girl stuff, and this came up. It's and the person who had it didn't live too far from me, so tonight me and my mom decided to go and get it. And everything all together was $80, which there's a lot of stuff here. I also used Christmas money to buy this stuff. And my mom, she paid for some of it for me, but it definitely was worth it. And I'm just going to be showing you everything in it. So I'm going to start out with the shoes. So the first pair of shoes are these really cute ballet slippers. So they're from American Girl. I don't have the full outfit, but I'm pretty sure all the things that I have are the slippers. The next pair are these white flats. Are gonna go with so many outfits, and they're really cute and well made. It doesn't say a brand for them, but they are really nice. The next things are these sneakers, and those I'm pretty sure are from American Girl because the bottoms look just like my Courtney doll, her pink pair of shoes and they're just athletic shoes. Next shoes are these black, they look like kind of like Converse and these are gonna work super well for my boy doll. He will probably wear these mostly because they're just all black and they just are really cute. And then the last pair of shoes are these black pair of flats. I actually have a pair just like this and I use them a lot. So I'm glad that I have a second pair. And now I'm going to move on to the outfits that are non-AG brand. this white fluffy coat. So I actually have this already, which is kind of funny. And it's just a really nice fluffy white jacket. And it's really good for winter, and I now have two. So the next thing is this purple dress. I'm pretty sure that the lady who I bought it from said that this was handmade, which is amazing. It's so pretty, and there's so many layers. This would be really good for a costume, and just a really pretty dress in general. It's double-sided. I'm pretty sure because there's a side with a little flower embellishment and then the other side has just these, this velcro with buttons and a bow so you could wear it either way which I think is really nice and it is a very beautiful dress. Next is this gray dress. It is a sweater dress type thing. Um, I'm not really sure what brand it is and I don't really know but except it is very cute and it has this really nice sweater detailing at the bottom and on the cuffs of the sleeves. This will be really good for a winter outfit and I'm definitely going to put it on my doll. Next is this green pair of leggings. So these are what they look like. They're just simple and green. These are going to be really good for like an athletic outfit of some sort and it'll actually go, this will go very well with the thing that you'll see later on in the video. There's just these little loops. I actually had a pair of pants just like this for my doll when I was little except I cut them into shorts very badly so I do not use them anymore because they're like up to here because I did not do it well at all but there are these pants. So the next things are pretty much all pajamas. There was a lot of pajama things, and I'm just gonna show you. So first I have this, it says fa la 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 llama, and I'm guessing it's like a Christmas thing because the, the llama is wearing a little scarf. And I actually don't have many doll pajamas, so this is gonna be really cute, and this is what it says. It just says fa la 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 llama, and it's really cute. There's no Velcro, so it just stretches over the doll's head, and the material is very soft. Next, I have this uh, nightgown, and it's this really cool galaxy print. This is definitely going to be Luciana's nightgown because it's just so galaxy-like, and it's very pretty. Again, there's no Velcro, and it's just going to be a really nice nightgown. This is this shirt. It's like a hooded shirt, and it's... I can't really tell what it would look like on the doll, but... It just looks like a shirt with a hood attached to it. I don't know how often I'm going to use this, but it's still a cool piece to have. There's that. I'm pretty sure that this is handmade also, and it's just this nightgown, but I feel like I could use it as like a dress if I wanted to. So there's just some stretchy elastic at the top, and then Velcro in the back. And it just looks like this, but I had an idea if it's on the doll and I put like a belt right here, I feel like that could work as a dress and then like an off the shoulder thing. Maybe for like Nenea or Leah. And then the last thing that's not an American Girl brand item 
are just these white socks. I actually don't have many doll socks, so this is great. I think that they'll go really well. So the first thing is this American Girl sparkly outfit. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's one of the Truly Me outfits. And I'm pretty sure that it's retired because I haven't really seen it on the website at all. So it starts, here is this black, plain black t-shirt. Then there's a collar of these really pretty shimmery rhinestones or sequins. That's the, yeah, these really pretty sequins. And there's a little um, American Girl tag and it Velcros in the back. And I really like this. Then it has these sparkly shorts, which have like more of like a matte sparkle effect. And I don't really think that I'll be pairing these together, like this whole outfit, but individually they're really cute pieces. And then last is this silver hat, or a beret, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And it just has this little stretchy part in the middle. These, these, it's this really pretty sequin fabric. So next are these pajamas, and they're just this really pretty blue color. And then there's just these tiny buttons that go down the side. It says AG on the front. And then there's just this blue lace. And it's just long sleeved. And it looks like it'd be a long t-shirt. And then there's this polar bear design. On the pants. And it's just a darker blue color with this design. And there is that outfit. So next is this sports jacket. I really like this. And I think that it'll look really good with a sportsy outfit. It has a zipper down the front and the zipper is pink. There's this U on the front with these pink sides and like an athletic material. And this would be good for um, just like a sports outfit in general. Next is this sweater. I don't know if you can tell that this is like a sparkly sweater. As soon as I saw this I knew that I wanted it because it just has this really pretty shimmery design on it. I just think that it'll look really good with any winter outfits. It was one of my favorite things that I got with the outfits and it's just this pinky purple magenta color with this ribbon for a belt with these three little gems, gems on it and it just velcros in the back. I really really like this and I thought that it was so pretty. Then it came with this headband to match with these little rhinestones on it as well. The last things are just these random pants. So there's a pair of white leggings, which are capris. Then there's just a pair of grayish off-white blue stockings. And then a pair of light pink stockings, which will also be good for under a dress. So those are all of the clothes from American Girl and off-brand AG. And I'm gonna be moving on to the next big thing. What the next thing is, is the American Girl doll violin. So the funny thing with this is, I didn't really want it that much, but except my mom really thought it was so cute and she really wanted me to get it, so I decided to. And I honestly now don't regret that at all, because I think it's going to go really good in one of my doll rooms. Maybe not the stand, because it's very big, but the violin definitely will. So here's the stand, it's just, it's so realistic and I just really like it. And it just is metal, which is really nice. And then here is the violin. So it's in this case, which is lined with a blue velvety material. I haven't actually taken it out yet. But here's the bow, as you can see, it's super realistic and it has this just, like these strings for like the bow part. And I'm just going to show you inside of the case. And then here is the violin. It is so pretty. Really good quality. And then the little bow. There's the violin. So the last thing that I got and the, my favorite thing is the Dreamy Day Bed from American Girl. This is retired and it was an amazing price. I'm just going to be showing it to you. So it is the trundle bed, which I thought is great because my dolls like share rooms in my dollhouse. And it's a little hard to demonstrate because it's on carpet right now, but it pulls out and there's a mattress that is this polka dot one, which is really nice and squishy. And then there's just this polka dot comforter. You can definitely switch the, these around. I just liked it like this. And then on the top, it has this pillow. I don't know if there are more pillows in the set, but this is what mine came with and I'm fine with this. 
I have a bunch of pillows of my own. And then, I don't know if you can tell, there's a flower pattern right here, which is really nice looking. And then here is the comforter for the bed. It is double-sided. For some reason, mine feels very stiff. I don't know what that, why that is, but on the one side, it's a light blue, and it says all these different encouraging messages with flowers and butterflies. And this side is this striped pattern of blue, blues, pinks, oranges, and yellows. And it just says more inspiring and encouraging messages. The mattress here is pink and it's really nice quality and of course it's nice because it's an American Girl brand thing. And this, I really like this side so I'm just going to be tucking this in, put the, putting the pillow right here. It is very nice. I'm going to push this in too. It's very realistic and super nice quality like it is wood. Also, one of the knobs is missing, but I didn't really ma it didn't really matter to me that much because I can just find a different knob or get new knobs for it. Either one, it will work fine, and even if there isn't one, I can just do something about it. So, that is my Craigslist home. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thought that it was interesting, so thank you so much for watching. Bye!